Three, two, one. Alright, as much as I would like to see to this interlude immediately, we have su a squad story that we need to see to. Actually, it looks like we got two to see to? Did I forget one? Like old times. Or did I get... or did I have both trigger? Well, let's see what this one has to say for itself. Uh, um, excuse me, Curtis. Uh, uh, sir? What? I think he's from another squad. Why is he talking to me? I'll be joining you for tomorrow's operation, so I, uh, I, I thought I'd introduce myself. Sure. He came specifically to introduce himself. I should say something back, or, or something. Come on, gotta say something. God, I can't think straight. I can feel my face going red. I've heard of your skill on the battlefield, sir. I'll do my best, and I promise I won't slow you down. Just get out of my sight. Oh, dear. Uh, oh! What am I saying? No, no, it's just bad nerves. I... I don't know you that well, so... Um, I'm sorry, sir. I'll, I'll just go. What, does everybody think you're a meanie? Um... Oh, I did it again. Stupid, stupid. Why do I always do this? <laughs> Hey there, Curtis. Scared off another one, huh? Laurent. What should I do? He came all the way to introduce himself, and I just completely blew him off. Well, a lot of people see you as the perfect soldier. You're quiet, stoic, and skilled. That's why everyone's so intimidated. And that's why people keep trying to get your attention like that. But it's all just a misunderstanding. Just... When people talk to me, my anxiety flares up, and I'm just no good at talking to people, unless it's you or my sister. Don't worry, I got your back. Just like always, right? We can go tell them you didn't mean it. Thanks, Laurent. Hey, that's what friends are for. Man, you're kind of a nervous wreck. But your sister, on the other hand... Is way too talkative? Oh dear, is this where she pops up and calls you cute? I've just got a quick question about our equipment. Hey, Eileen, you got a sec? Need a hand over here. Okay, I'll be right there. Eileen's always been so responsible. Everyone trusts and relies on her. Sounded like she'll be on tomorrow's mission, too. You're supposed to be the big brother here. You gotta shape up. Right. Okay. That should be everything I need for tomorrow. Man, when we were kids, I'd never have guessed we'd end up fighting back to back in the army. Not to mention Eileen joining up with us. She used to be so shy. What happened then? Eileen's changed a lot since we were little. She's gotten level-headed, reliable. I never imagined she could be such a warrior either. She's really proven herself on the battlefield. Maybe she's putting in the extra effort because she wants to help someone out? Someone she cares about? Oh dear, here we go. Wow. But who? And I thought I was dense. You really are clueless. Maybe a certain brother of hers? If you aren't elbowing her... Him. What am I saying? If you aren't elbowing him... God. It was a long night. Give me a break. You're on the mission tomorrow, aren't you? Do you have everything? Yeah, I think that should do it. Come on, show a little confidence. Those Imperials will jump on you the first chance they get. <laughs> oh god, I recognize the voice. Oh, there are too many voices I recognize. Pretty sure I recognize the brother too, but I don't know, it's a little... It's more of a guess, but oh god. <laughs> okay, recognizing voices has officially gone from a novelty to a distraction. Hi, Sothis. Jeez. So transparent. Just come on out and say you're worried about him. And you, Laurent! Stop babying Curtis just because he's your best friend! Ugh. You know, you used to be a lot cuter. Oh dear, here we go. You used to be so scared of everything, and you'd always come crying to Curtis for help. What? But that was a long time ago! You're being stupid! Anyway, just make sure you're ready for tomorrow, alright? 
You're clumsy enough as it is, Curtis. And I'm not a kid anymore. I can protect him like he protected me. <laughs> well, she's full of energy. Guess we gotta keep up, right? No pressure. Uh, I can't take this pressure. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Dang. How did you even get the courage to volunteer? Really, why'd you enlist? Huh? I never told you? I joined because I was worried about you going off alone. Worried? About what? I'm just here to take out the bad guys. The Empire's evil. It's our job to make sure good wins and evil loses. I guess that hasn't changed. You've always had such a strong sense of justice. But I don't know about branding the entire Empire as pure evil. You're just too soft. If you want to survive out there, you've got to believe in what you're doing. I'd be curious to see what would have happened if you went through the story of the first game then. I wonder how your opinion would shift. I wonder if there'll be any shifts related to the Empire. In f well, hmm. Problem is, it seems like this one's going much more for the binary, so we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. I understand that. But it's nice to know you're thinking of me. I'm glad you've got my back, okay? But don't worry. If you've got my back, I've got yours. Sound good, partner? Yeah, it does. Let's show them what we're made of. Alrighty. Let's see what this mission is. Allow me to brief you on your mission. Oh, this map again. Our task is to eliminate the enemy forces advancing on the outskirts of Milt. They've spread out their formation, so we'll need to split up into two teams. Take care not to advance too far. I'd hate to see you isolated from the main force. Alright, so we've got... Alright, an engineer, a lancer, and a scout. Okay, so that might be a little difficult if I can't bring in Raz or someone else as a shock trooper, but I suppose we'll see what kind of nonsense awaits us. That will be all. Commence operations. Huh? Where's Eileen? She was here just a moment ago. <laughs> huh? Uh, Curtis, that sounded like... <laughs> Eileen, where are you? Answer me! That idiot. He wants to charge in alone, and now show him what happens to... Out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> you never change, huh? Anytime Eileen's in trouble, you finally get serious. What do I do? I don't know where everyone went. <laughs> I even gave Curtis that big lecture, and now... This is how it ends. Giving up already? That's not like you. Curtis! And Laurent! You came all this way for me? No, no, no. You have to get out of here. We're completely surrounded in this position. Understood. Stay behind me. Relax, Eileen. You know Curtis. When he gets like this, nothing can stop him. Just don't get in the way, I suppose. Alright, that's our target. Alright, we don't have... Actually, we've got a camp over there if we can claim it. Alright, they clearly don't want us to go that way if they're gonna plop a shock trooper down. So how do we play this? We've got a light tank facing that direction. So I suspect what they want us to do is run around this is to run around back behind these guys. I think that's what they want us to do anyway. So. Before anything else, let me make a save just in case. I don't think I'll need it, but just in case as always. Whoops. Alright, we'll send Curtis in first. Understood. I found the enemy. Enemy spotted. Enemies. Over there. I found the enemy. Engaging! Alright, we got a singular scout over here. Crouch down. Wait. There! Good work. I see. They're good. 
Enemies. Sniper. Okay, we'll have you move next turn then to ensure that we're able to take him out. I'm not scared of anything. Engaging. I'm hoping I won't regret not having Lauren take a shot at the people behind us. Either way, you should be able to take out this tank, no problem. Alright, assuming we don't get a shock trooper running up behind us, that should be good. Now, I don't know what kind of movement or sh other shenanigans will be involved for... ...the remainder of this fight. So I think what we'll focus on then is... We're being pushed back! We need backup! Yeah, I probably should have had you take a pot shot while we were heading out. Although, it doesn't look like you'll be able to get in range to fire. Okay, how do we want to play this? There's a risk those shock troopers could come up behind and nail Lawrence. Actually, there's a risk of a lot of people coming up behind and nailing Leave Lawrence. It to me. But I'm pretty sure the sniper won't be able to take out... Well, I'm pretty sure he won't be able to take out the scout. Let's find out. They are moving. Good thing we decided to make our move then. Alright, unless he moves again, he's not gonna be able to reach us. Ah crap, he's Too taking slow. the shot. And it missed. Good. There. And because you're in range, you can get the fire back. That's useful, actually. So unless he gets a headshot next turn, if he fires again, he's just heckin' dead. I don't know why I said it like that, don't ask. Alright, so you're probably gonna take it. So you're probably one of the scouts. Grossly over level for this, aren't I? Alright, and here comes the other scout. But we've got Curtis facing the other way, so he should be able to take shots at him. It was too careless. This is nothing. Alright, how do we want to play this? Let's see. Eileen has less movement, so we'll have her run out. Take out the sniper. Who's shooting at me? Ah, feel me. Okay. I'll be fine. Will you though? Hold position. I'll head over for support. I see. They're good. Dead in range. Oh shoot, you're almost dead. You've taken more hits than I expected. Good thing you are grossly overleveled then. Moving out. He's been. Good. Heh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that was an officer too. That's lucky. Enemy down. All allies have been taken out. Enemies over there. Okay, unless that guy uses a grenade, he won't be able to take out Eileen. And that field agent doesn't have a good eye on us either. So I think what we'll Leave do is we'll have you turn around and point blank this. Fire! That way we can have you keep being useful. Not done yet. And then no! next turn, we'll bring Raz in to ensure that we can just Abuse our movement while uh, well, well, abuse the hell out of our movement. Actually, we necessarily need to worry about that. Actually, we've got the tank that Lauren needs to blow up, but you know what? I think we can do that. No units in reserve. Okay. Leave it to me. So this is purely a restock. Stop calling me cute. Let's see if we can get him. Fire. Nice. One less bad guy. And based on the shock trooper's prior movement, it shouldn't be able to run up behind us. Oh, hello. You're actually trying to move a little bit? That's a surprise. You're not going to get anything over there. 
unless you think you can get in range for a mortar shell. Okay, that actually could have hit. It's far enough. He's far enough away that a hit is highly unlikely. But that had a chance to hit. Alright, so he's making a move as well. It's an officer, so taking him out would be useful, but I don't know if we'll necessarily have that chance. Although if he sneaks up behind us and we're forced to fire backwards, that might be fine. Okay, he's not crouched behind anything. Alright, we've got a shock trooper and a scout behind us. No units in reserve that we can pull. We won't be able to get everybody out this turn. Moving out. So here's what we'll do. Make sure that scout goes down. Going down! Let's keep going. No! And we'll have you face this direction to deal with anyone who comes up behind us. Then Eileen will run forward and use a grenade to knock out Enemy the barricades spot. over here. Actually, she might be able to just straight up make it. Stay calm. Will she make just it? Hold out until I make it there. Enemy spotted. She can make it. Eileen, watch out! Get down! I... I had no idea he was there. Thanks, Curtis. Yeah, but... Why didn't you fire? All you had to do was pull the trigger. I couldn't. I've got... a sister. Just her age. What? <laughs> Pretty pathetic way to go out, huh? for laughing. No. If I were in your shoes, I couldn't have pulled that trigger either. I see. She's your sister then. Make sure you keep her safe. What was that? But the, the the Empire's evil. But he There it is. I think one of the most dangerous things we can do in war is tell ourselves that everyone who opposes us is evil. <sighs> Let's save this for later. We need to get out of here first. Sometimes. Alright. So. Given that Lauren's gonna be the slow one. I'm not scared of anything. Actually, yeah, we're definitely not getting out this turn. And there's a risk of that shock trooper turning around and saying hello. Damn it! I'm pinned down! So. Let's see if we can get lucky. Fire! Not quite. All right. Now that he's definitely, now that we've definitely got his attention, moving out. Nice to feel dirt under my feet. All right. Stay out of range of him, but make sure it's down. What's this? Good work. Slowly, then turn him around. Okay, now we just gotta hope that Lauren doesn't get shot to pieces. Oh crap, there's a sniper right there. Yeah. At least you can shoot back. Going down. And you should have the resilience to survive another hit, I hope. Even if you don't, they probably got the shock trooper and the scout for movement this time, so it should be okay. Oh crap, that shock trooper woke up. That's gonna hurt. It's too careless. This is nothing. I'm very lucky that you're over leveled, aren't I? I'm 
not scared of anything. Well, if you're gonna crouch behind there like a brat, I'll just blast you the fun way. Well, partner, got my back. Come. All right, easy enough. Might have been able to get something special like going after that officer, but you know what? I'll take an A rank if I got it. Yes. The mission was a success. Come on, guys. Let's head back. Right. Yeah. Huh? The two of them are acting weird. I wonder what's wrong. Yeah, I'll take that. Curtis? Hey, Eileen. You did good today. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Um, thanks for coming to save me back there. I thought you were really cool. Yeah, you should have seen your face when you charged right at them. He looked like a demon. I, I don't know about that. And, um, I'm sorry. Huh? For what? I was acting all tough. Saying I'd protect you, but you ended up having to protect me again. You don't have to apologize for that. Of course I'd protect my little sister. <laughs> oh, big bro. Sometimes I forget how you're so... Wow. How many years has it been since you called me big bro? Huh? <laughs> oh, well, wait. That doesn't count. I didn't mean to say it. I... I... I just came by to say thanks. That's all, okay, Curtis? Wow. Eileen's back to being shy. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> uh, Laurent? What's the matter? You're looking pretty down. I was just thinking about what you said. About telling ourselves what's evil and what's not. What did I say? What? You seriously don't remember? Y no, it might not... Be a matter of not remembering, just not caring to remember. To him, it's not a big deal to say that, but to you, it's everything. Sorry. Dang. You really are an airhead sometimes. No, he just didn't care to remember. But I guess that's how it's always been. Ever since we were kids. In the end, Curtis, you always were the one who could set us straight. And you always do the right thing. I, um... Uh... I don't know about that. I've made my fair share of mistakes. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell right from wrong. I know what you mean. I thought I had good and evil figured out, but... I don't know anymore. War is more sad than anything else. I didn't realize it until today. We have to end this. Well, you're my best friend. Long as we stick together, I think we can make a difference. What about me? <laughs> you too, yeah. It's reassuring to have a little sister I can rely on. You're the one we're always counting on, Curtis. Let's do our best to finish this war. All three of us. Yeah. Of course. Alrighty, relatively straightforward then. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Oh? Hello, I'm Mabel Drake. I don't like wasting time, so can we wrap this up? Well then.